So whenever you're ready, find a comfortable seated position or a kneeling position on your mat, just whatever feels better for your body at this time. And we're just going to gently arrive into the space. So maybe take a few shoulder rolls. Take a deep inhale through the nose and an audible sigh. gentle rise and fall of your belly, of your chest as you inhale and you exhale. Inhale, feel the belly expand, the rib cage, the chest, and exhale, let all go. Start to even out your inhales and exhales. We'll take for a count of four, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. As you find a steady rhythm for your breath here, focus your attention inward and just take a scan of your body, just see how you're feeling for any areas of tightness or tension and if so just breathe deeply into those areas and let all go. We're going to inhale and reach our arms up overhead, gaze lifted, and exhale, melt forward onto the mat, stretching the arms in front of us. Let your chest melt into the earth, feel the back of the body expand. Inhale.
repeat on the other side. Inhale, reach the right arm to the sky and exhale, bend over to the left. Inhale, come up one more each side. Lift the left arm to the sky, reach up and exhale, bending over to the right. Position, making sure that our wrists are directly under our shoulders, knees directly stacked underneath our hips. I'll come back a little bit. And we're going to take some gentle cat cows here. So all that is, is as we inhale, we're going to drop the belly, lift the chest, pull the heart forward, lift the gaze. And as you exhale, Dome the spine, pull the navel up and drop the head. Inhale, dropping the belly, lift the chest, gaze, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, and exhale, pull the navel to spine, rounding through the back, drop the head. We'll take two more like this, just at the pace of your own breath. So we inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more like this, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come back to tabletop position. We're just going to do a little bit of wrist mobility here. So taking gentle circles with your left hand outwards and in the way. Place it back on the mat. Same thing with the right. Gentle circles before and the other way. Place the right hand back down onto the mat and just slowly Shift the weight forward and back over the wrists. Then turn the fingers to face out the way, like this. And then just gently from side to side. Then bring the fingers back to face forward and just gentle circles, just being very mindful, our wrists are very delicate. And inhale, let's go the other way. Come back to some stillness. On our next inhale, we're going to reach the right arm to the sky. Feel a nice twist to the right hand side and then what we're going to do is thread the needle. So we'll bend the right arm down and thread it behind the left along the floor. We'll feel a really nice stretch across the shoulders, across our upper back here. Just one more breath here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach the right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, plant the right hand back down on the mat and we'll repeat on the left. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Feeling the twist. Exhale, thread the needle. And feel a gorgeous stretch across the upper back. Inhale, reach the left arm to the sky and exhale, 
if we sit down with the mat. On our next inhale, we're going to untuck the toes, hover the knees off the floor into what we call a bear position. And we're going to hold here for a count of five, four, feel the core fire up. Three, two, one. Lift the hips to the sky, stretch the legs, come back into downward facing dog. Just gently pedal out the feet. See how that feels for you. Again, just rocking into any areas that might feel a wee bit tight but quite like to be loosened out. And then come to some stillness here. So in downward dog, we want to press our hands into the mat, the fingers outstretched. Long arms here, feeling a spa outward spiral of the upper arms. Draw the shoulders down the back or away from the ears. Soft rib cage, draw the navel into the spine. Reaching the sit bones high to the sky and feel the energy drawing down the backs of the legs into the earth. For those of us that have slightly light, tighter hamstrings, take a soft bend in the knees and don't worry if the heels are lifted either. What we want to focus on is the length of the spine, that's what's most important here. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. On the next inhale, look forward and just tiptoe to the top of the mat, bringing our feet in between our hands and we're just going to gently fold forward here, let the head hang heavy. Keep a soft bend in the knees and just let the chest rest against the thighs. If it's available to you, grab opposite elbows and just gently sway from side to side. Nice little ragdoll moment here, just letting anything go. One more breath here. Let go of the elbows, plant the hands onto the mat and gently roll up through the spine to standing. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. And your head is the last thing to come up to standing. What we want here is bring our big toes to touch, either heels together, slightly apart, or as a modification, have our hip, our feet hip width apart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, gaze lifted. Exhale, fold the body forward, long spine. Inhale, lift the body up halfway, draw the navel into spine. Exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, plant the hands on the mat, step the right foot to the back of the mat, left foot for plank pose. Exhale, pull the heart forward slightly, drop the knees, untuck the toes, and gently lower the body to the mat in one straight line. Inhale, lift the head, pull the heart forward, cobra pose squeezing the elbows together. Exhale, lower down to the mat. We'll take two more like this. Inhale, feeling strong engagement through the thighs, all through the back body. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Push the hips back to the heels for child's pose. 
stretching the arms forward, feeling the energy extend beyond the fingertips. And know that you can come back to this position anytime that you feel like it during our practice today. Final inhale here. Exhale, untuck the toes, push the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward and step to the top of the mat in between the hands. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, gaining length through the spine. Exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, roll the body all the way up to standing, reaching the arms up overhead and straight away fold back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back, right foot back. And this time, we can try Chaturanga, either with the knees lifted, or we can drop the knees to the mat mat. So we keep the elbows tight, we lower the body in one straight line, halfway down, and then we inhale, push up to upward facing dog, rolling over the toes, heart is lifted, gaze is lifted, squeezing the elbows in, shoulders are down, away from the ears. Exhale, navel to spine, lift the hips up to the sky for a downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold the body down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach the arms overhead. One more like this, a wee bit faster. Exhale, forward fold, Uttasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. This time, step our foot back to plank pose. Exhale, pull the heart forward and lower the body halfway, chaturanga. Inhale for upward dog. And exhale, lift up and back for downward facing dog. And exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Well done everyone. On your next inhale, you're gonna sweep the arms overhead, sit the hips back for Utkatasana, chair pose. Drawing the navel into the spine, squeezing the thighs together. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale and exhale, fold the body forward, stretching the legs. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands, step and walk back to plant pose. And exhale, pull the heart forward, lower down in one straight line halfway. Exhale, roll over the toes, lift the chest, the gaze for upward dog. Exhale, lift the hips to the sky for downward facing dog. Straight away, we're going to inhale, lifting the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, 
Lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg to the sky. This time, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward in between the hands. Drop the left knee to the mat, untuck the toes. Inhale, the arms overhead for a low lunge. If it feels better for you, just keep your hands on your knee. What we're looking for here is a, a long stretch of the hip flexor on the left leg. Also the bend in the right knee, making sure that our knee is directly over the ankle. Inhale here and exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale here. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat, shift the hips back and straighten the right leg and you're going to feel a nice lovely stretch down the back of the right leg. Now here what we're looking for again is a long length through the spine so if that means you can't fold as far over your leg, totally fine. Inhale here and exhale, sink a little deeper into that stretch. One more breath here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, shift back forward over the right leg, plant the hands, untuck the left toe, lift the left knee, come into a low lunge. Inhale, reach the right arm to the sky for a twisted lunge. Inhale, and exhale. One more here, inhale, and exhale, bring the right hand back down to frame the right foot. Holding strong through the thighs, we're gonna inhale, come up, lifting the arms overhead for high crescent lunge. Inhale, reach up, exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Squeezing thigh towards thigh. Again, keeping the right knee tracking over the ankle. Long left leg. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna turn your left foot out so the toes face the long end of the mat. Your toes are at a 90 degree angle. Opening the hips to the long edge of the mat and opening the arms long to the side, keeping that bend in the right knee for warrior two. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, feeling grounded through the feet, feeling the energy drawing up through the legs, through the torso, up through the crown of the head. Feeling length, across the back of your bodies, extending beyond the fingertips. One more breath here. And exhale. On your next inhale, flip the palms, reach slightly forward, up and back for reverse warrior. Feeling a nice stretch across the right side of the body. With your left hand, holding onto your your thigh or your shin, just wherever is comfortable for you. Inhale, exhale, windmill the arms forward to frame the right foot. Turn onto the ball of the left foot. Inhale, step the right foot back, plank pose. Exhale, pull the heart forward, lower chaturanga. Inhale for upward dog. Exhale, hips to the sky for a downward facing dog. Well done everyone. Inhale, and exhale. We'll go on the second side. Inhale, the right leg 
left leg, sorry, to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to right elbow this time. Really strong through the core here. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, stepping the left foot in between the hands. Drop the right knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, lifting the arms up for a low lunge. And again, if it's more comfortable for you, keeping your hands on your knee. Inhale, reach up a little bit taller. Exhale, sinking down again, feeling a lovely stretch across the front of the right leg, the hip flexor. And again, making sure that our left knee is tracking directly over the toes. One more here. Exhale, plant the hands, send the hips back, stretching the left leg for half split. right toes, lift the right knee off the mat and inhale, reach the left arm this time to the sky for twisted lunge. Inhale and exhale. Keeping strong through the back leg, reaching the fingertips up to the sky. One more here, inhale. And exhale, bring the left hand down to the mat to frame the right foot. Now ready to come up. Squeeze the thighs together, inhale, arms overhead for a high crescent lunge. Embrace those wobbles. Inhale, exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Again, squeezing the thighs together, keeping the strong bend through the front knee feeling really grounded through both feet while simultaneously stretching up to the sky. One more inhale here and exhale, open out for warrior two. Again, right foot at a 90 degree angle, strong through the right leg, hip bones, Facing the long edge of the mat, keeping the deep bend through our front knee, reaching, oh, arms are so long around the front. Reaching in our arms in opposite directions. Gaze is over the middle finger of the front arm. Inhale, and exhale, feeling strongly rooted into the earth. Inhale, and exhale. This time on your inhale, flip the palms, reach forward, up and back for reverse warrior. Again, keeping your right hand wherever is most comfortable for you, the thigh, or maybe a bit lower down on the shin. Inhale, exhale, windmill the arms forward, frame the left foot, turn onto the ball of the right foot, Inhale, step the left foot back to plank pose. Exhale, reach the heart forward and lower down through chaturanga, keeping the long straight spine. Inhale for upward dog. Again, squeezing the elbows in, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Chest is nice and open. Exhale, lifting up and back for downward facing dog. Well done team. One more breath in downward dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward.
forward, step or hop to the top of your mat in between the hands. And exhale, fold the body forward, Uyutasana. Inhale, lift up halfway, long through the spine, navel drawing in. Exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, roll all the way up through the spine. Arms sweep up overhead, gaze is lifted. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Oh, well done everyone. Just step back a little bit. On the next inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead, sinking back into chair pose. Inhale, bring the hands to prayer. Exhale, twisting to the right, hooking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee and pulling the sternum as much as possible to the right hand side of the room. Again, squeezing the thighs together for stability, navel into spine. If it feels good for you, taking the gaze up to the sky over the right shoulder. Here for one more breath. And exhale. Inhale, coming back to the centre, reaching the hands overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer, twisting this thing to the left. Hooking the right elbow to the outside of the right knee. Again, if it feels good for you, taking the gaze to the sky. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, coming back to centre, Ooh. sweeping the arms overhead and exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plant pose. Exhale, pulling the heart forward, lowering in one straight line, halfway. Inhale, roll over the toes, push up for upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back for downward facing dog. Again, outward spiral of the upper arms, drawing our shoulders down the back. Nice long spine. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, straight away we're going to step in between the hands. Keeping that back leg, back knee straight, we're going to straight away inhale to high lunge. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. One more inhale. And exhale, open out for warrior two. Inhale here, and exhale. Again, inhale, flip the palms, reach up and back for reverse warrior. If it feels good for you, feel free to take a bind behind the back with our left arm. Here for one more breath. Can we lift the heel of the front foot? Squeezing even deeper through the thighs. Exhale, lowering the heel of the right foot. Inhale, come back to warrior two. And stretch the right leg. Inhale, reach with the right arm forward, bending down to the side, left arm to the sky for triangle. Again here. Either fingertips on the mat, on the ankle, the shin bone, wherever feels good for you today. And if you'd like, take the gaze up to the left hand. Equal weight through both feet, strong through the thighs, feeling a nice stretch through the left side of the body. Here for one more breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift back up to centre, turning the right toes to face the long edge of the mat. So we're in a wide stance here. Both feet are parallel to the long edge of the mat. Exhale, inhale, 
bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna come around this way so you can see. Inhale, hands to the hips. Exhale, hinge forward for a wide-legged forward fold, keeping a long spine here. Feel free to keep your hands here on your hips or plant the hands on the mat. Again, strong engagement through the thighs, drawing up the legs, navel to spine, and letting the head hang heavy. Again, we're focusing on lengthening the spine here, so if that means not folding forward as much, then that's not a bother, or even taking a soft bend in the knees. Here for one more breath. Inhale, bring the hands back to the hips and lifting up, back to standing, keeping a long, lengthened spine. Then what you're going to do is turn out the left foot, I'll mirror you, and sink over into that back leg for Skandasana, for a side lunge. Feel free to take your hands here to prayer at heart centre or hide them in the mat. Feel a nice long stretch across the inner thigh of your right leg. Inhale, we're going to crawl forward to the top of the mat. Turning to face the top edge of the mat, frame the front foot. Step the right foot back to plank pose, exhale, lowering through chaturanga, inhale for upward dog, exhale, hips up and back for downward facing dog, well done there everyone, we'll just take a quick breath here to recharge, inhale, and exhale, second side, Inhale, the left leg to the sky. Exhale, step the left foot in between the, the hands, planting the foot strong through the legs. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead for high crescent lunge. Inhale here. And exhale, opening out for warrior two. Again, keeping the strong bend through the front knee knee tracking directly over the ankle, strong through the back leg, squeezing the legs together to feel really grounded into the earth. Inhale here, exhale, keeping the navel drawing into the spine. Inhale, flip the palms, reach forward, up and back for reverse warrior. Again, option, to take the right hand behind the back if that feels good for you. And one more breath here. Can we lift the heel of the left of the left leg and sink deeper into that bend? Exhale, lower the heel, coming back up to warrior two. Inhale, stretch the front leg, and exhale, reach the left arm forward bending down to the side for triangle pose. Again, bottom hand, wherever is most comfortable for you. Reaching that right arm high to the sky, taking the gaze up to the right hand, if that's available for you. Feeling a strong engagement through both thighs, feeling the energy draw up from the insteps all through the thighs, up and extending beyond the fingertips. Final breath here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back up to standing, turning this time the left foot inwards to face the long edge of the mat and dropping the arms down. Inhale, this time, either again, keeping the hands on the hips, or if it's available to you, 
taking, clasping the hands behind the back and taking a bind. Feel the chest open, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. top of your mat, lowering the hips down to the mat and taking a comfortable seat. Shift back slightly if you need to. Stretch the legs in front of you. We're going to inhale, reach the arms to the sky and exhale, fold forward for a nice hamstring stretch. Again here we're looking for length through the spine, so if it means coming up a wee bit that's fine. Or taking a slight bend in the knees. Just whichever modification feels more comfortable for you. Deep breaths here, really breathing into the stretch. Body back up to sitting. One last little bit of core work here. We're going to lift the legs to a tabletop position here and if you can really squeezing through the core, lifting the hands for boat pose. I'm going to stay here for five breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. That feels good. Stretch the legs, squeezing through, squeeze the legs together, squeeze the core. Keep it open across the chest. Last breath here. And exhale. For a count of five, we're going to slowly lower through a hollow hold. You've got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, let's all go on the mat. Well 
done. And just shift forward slightly. And you'll bring the knees into the chest and give yourself a well-deserved hug. Just rocking from side to side. So we're going to come into a figure four stretch here. So planting the left foot on the ground. Take the right ankle over the left knee. Feed the hands through and gently pull on the back of the left leg. And you feel a nice glute stretch on the right hand side. gently switch sides so left ankle over the right knee inhale unbind the legs plant both feet onto the ground and exhale just gently let the knees fall to the right hand side taking the gaze over the left shoulder, if that's available to you, and feel a nice spinal twist. Just let your shoulder blades sink into the mat here. Inhale, come back up, and exhale, fall to the left side, gaze over the right shoulder. squeeze the knees into the chest and then slowly extend the legs let the arms fall to the side deep breath in exhale let it all go just let your body absorb the practice and all of the hard work and energy that you put in today. With every inhale and then exhale, feel yourself sink deeper and deeper into the earth, as if you're lying in a bed of cushions, the comfiest duvet ever. Bring in some stillness here. Tuning back into your breath. Rise and fall of the belly, of the chest, the ribs. Whichever side feels comfortable for you into the fetal position. A signal of rebirth of growth. And then slowly roll up to find a nice comfortable seating position on the mat. Keeping the eyes closed. Inhale, reach the arms sideways and up, scooping in all good energy and exhale bring the hands to prayer at heart center gently bowing your head down in gratitude i want you to thank you so much for practicing for me with me today i hope you enjoyed it and that you feel a little bit more released a little brighter a little lighter also thank yourselves for taking the time out of your day to come to the mat, to thank your mind and your body for all of its hard work during today's practice. 
Bring your hands to the space between your eyebrows, your third eye center. Know that everything that's for you is coming. Know that you are wonderful. You are forever growing, forever evolving, and that you're more than capable of absolutely anything. Namaste. Thank you so much again to RAG for allowing me to come onto their platform and share my practice with you. Mwah.